fellow tubers, this is Kurt with Edibles and Exotics coming to you from sunny Mesa, Arizona. And today we're going to do a little update on the apple tree that we trimmed and the cuttings that we potted up. Well, not potted up, but put in bins to root out. So uh, behind me is a golden dorset apple. And uh, if you go back to the original video, you'll see the kind of growth it had and exactly how I trimmed it. And then there's an update video on the flowering and, and the pollination that happened. So let's turn around real quick and, and get a look at the uh, apples that are forming. All right, guys, so if you look right here, you can see one, two, three, four apples that are forming and they're everywhere. There's more down on this branch. There's more over here. So they're just all up and down this tree everywhere. All right, I apologize for the sun. It's the only time of the day I got to film today. So there's some more, there's some more, there's still some flowers. These guys continuously put out flowers, usually for uh, almost the whole summer. It'll flower again and it'll put, set more fruit, put out more apples, but here's some more here. There's some branches over there. There's flowers right there that are gonna start budding out soon. There's some more in here, so. One thing you got to realize with these guys is not every single flower is going to turn into an apple. So if you see some that uh, dry up, don't worry about it. You don't uh, want to get too many fruits in one cluster or you can have little baby golf ball size apples or smaller. Um, I'm going to come back uh, probably in a couple of months when these start growing. And I'm going to do another video on how to thin them out so you wind up with bigger, better, juicier, sweeter fruit. So let's go over to the cutting bin and I'll show you how the cuttings are doing. All right, guys, so here's the uh, apple tree cuttings. And uh, some of them uh, don't look like they're doing too good. Some of them look like they're doing great. So there's two bins here. There's another bin in the back. And uh, they're all doing pretty good. So, you know, hopefully uh, if we get 50% or more to grow, I'll be happy. So I hope you guys like that little update video. Um, I'm gonna keep doing these videos. I just wanna show you, you know, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever the progress we're getting here. That way you guys have a realistic uh, outlook on how the process goes. And, you know, you'll, you'll understand it does take time. You are gonna have to wait. Patience is a virtue here. You don't wanna rush in and, and take these cuttings just cause you see a little top growth. If you don't have them in a clear bin, you don't want to take these guys out and find out they have no roots or the little baby roots that they had, you just broke off taking them out. So if you are in a rush to do this, you're probably better off getting a, uh, a tree from a nursery or something like that. But uh, if you're looking to do what I do and propagate plants out of your yard and sell them or give them away or whatever you may be doing, uh, this is the way to go. It's the cheapest, quickest, fastest way. But just keep in mind, it takes a couple of months. This isn't something that takes, you know, a week or two or a month and you're done. It's, it's a couple of months, it's a commitment. And uh, the main thing with these cuttings is full shade, make sure the tops don't dry out, make sure the bottom doesn't dry out, make sure the bottom doesn't stay too wet, make sure there's airflow. That's it. Those are the, the key points to remember. And if you do that, I root all sorts of cuttings that way. I right, right now on my racks, I got figs, I got, longevity spinach, I got mulberries, I got lemon trees, I got apple trees. They all root out exactly the same. I never have any issues. I don't change my methods. It, it seems to work for everything. No problem. I don't have a misting chamber. I don't have any of that sort of crazy stuff. You know, I do everything on the cheap. And if I lose a couple, not a big deal because I do a lot. If you guys only have uh, one or two cuttings of something, you know, uh, if it was me, I'd do my method. Some of these harder to root cuttings, uh, I do the same method, but I will wrap the top of the cutting with parafilm and I'll leave about a half an inch between the top of the perlite and where the tape is. So just a little bit of space, just to make sure you get a little bit of airflow in there and the parafilm doesn't wick up that water and rot your cutting underneath the parafilm. So guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell. That way you get updates on these cuttings and these types of videos. 
If you guys are looking to buy some plants, uh, you can get in touch with me through the comment section below. Uh, I can give you a little inventory if I got something. I got a lot of oddball crazy stuff going, a lot of stuff that no other nursery sells in the valley, and a lot of stuff you can't even find online. So until the next video, guys, keep growing.